I'd like to purchase a ticket, please. Are we on camera? You're not on camera, it's just me. This museum is massive, and Stan just told me something that kind of blew my mind. How many volunteers are in this museum? A little over 270. Are you a dog person, or are you a cat person? I am more of a cat person. I was going to ask them inside if I could record in there, but one of the first signs I saw was something that said, no pictures. I'm not sure if I can show this, but we might call those, uh, I don't know, ladies undergarments. Hello, and welcome back to another English lesson. I just recently uploaded an English lesson while I took a road trip. And today we are going to be taking a road trip. You are going to learn English on this road trip, but there's a catch. There's something a little different about this road trip, and I am letting ChatGPT map out my entire trip. And I will explain what all of that means in just a second, but I need to vacuum out my car if we were going on a road trip. It's a little bit dirty, and that might be a new English phrasal verb for you, vacuum out. Yeah, so let's vacuum out my car first, and then we can get started on this road trip. We are at the car wash place, and I didn't know this, but they have free vacuums. I thought it cost a little money, but it's free. And you can get unlimited car washes here for $20. That means you pay $20 a month, and you can use these vacuums at any time, and you can get your car washed as many times as you want. I love free things. Now that we are all vacuumed out, yes, that's the past tense of vacuum out. We're all vacuumed out. Let's go to the first place ChatGPT is telling us to go. But first, maybe we should talk about what ChatGPT is or AI is in English. So basically, AI is artificial intelligence. I'm sure you have a word for that in your language, but it's basically when a computer program is thinking for you. I said ChatGPT. Pick a road trip for me somewhere in the Bath or Brunswick area. And those are two towns in Maine, not too far away from where I live. All right, we always have to fasten our seat belt. Safety first. The first place ChatGPT is sending me is a place called the Maine Maritime Museum. Anytime you hear maritime in English, think something to do with the ocean. Hey Siri, give me driving directions to Maine Maritime Museum. Okay, it says it's going to take us about 39 minutes to get there. When I asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas, it actually gave me a four day itinerary. Itinerary might be a new word for you. It's like a schedule, the things that you are going to do that day. So I really can't do everything on that list because we're gonna do everything in a day. But if you wanna see the whole list, there is a link in the description that will show you everything ChatGPT told me to do. Okay, we made it. This is Maine Maritime Museum. And because maritime is in the name, you would think that it was right near the ocean. And it is. It is off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm so happy I get to visit this on such a beautiful summer day. You do have to pay an admission fee to get in here. I believe it is $20. But before we go into the museum, let's Look what's on the outside of the museum. Oops, this is my first time here. I just said it was off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, but it's not, it's the Kennebec River. But the Atlantic Ocean is very close to Bath, Maine. And there is a lot of yard work going on around here. Somebody is uh, driving by in a golf cart. 
but there are people mowing. There's a lawnmower nearby here. It's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe it is turning in here, but this is a, a trolley car. There was just a question about trolley cars in our Discord server. Yeah, and if you want to become a member of this channel, there are bonus English lessons. You can check the description box for a link. Look at this. We would call these Adirondack chairs. Ooh, let's see if they're comfortable. Oh yeah, they're comfortable. Looks like you can take a cruise, maybe on the Kennebec River, for an additional cost. Hello. I'd like, thank you. I'd like to purchase a ticket, please. Are we on camera? You're not on camera, it's just me. Did you want to be on camera? No. Okay, no, it's just me. <laughs> yeah, nobody, it didn't seem like anybody wanted to be on camera. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm allowed. <laughs> okay, I, let's play by the rules. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But um, our, do you offer any kind of discounts for teachers or people in the military maybe? We do offer a veterans discount and we're also a Blue Star Museum. But, oh, what um, does that mean, a Blue Star Museum? A Blue Star Museum means that if you're an active duty military person, uh, you get free admission for you and your family. Oh, that's so nice. I didn't serve, is that is that any military or just the U.S. military? Um, I believe it's just U.S. military. Okay. And how much is admission here? Admission is $20 a person unless you're interested in one of our riverboat prices. Oh, I got you. I don't think I have time for a cruise today, but so I'll just get the uh, admission. So one adult comes to $20 today. And I have a sticker for you. Okay. Just shows you. that you paid your admission today. Okay, thank you. Admission within the next seven days. Oh, great. And if you'd like more information about what tours and other things are going on today, the volunteers at this table have a lot of information for you. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Stan is nice enough to talk with us. He's a volunteer here. So I have a couple questions about the museum for him. So, how long do you think it would take to get through the entire museum? Oh, at least two days. Two days? Yes, two days. Well, I'm only going to be here for about an hour, so where do you think I should start? <laughs> Probably the gallery, okay. because in the gallery there's some exhibits that I think are very worthwhile, such as the Sea Change exhibit, and there's also the Into the Lantern exhibit. And the Into the Lantern is probably my favorite because they, the Coast Guard retired the lens from the Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse and they brought it out here and borrowed it from the Coast Guard and recreated the upper part of the lighthouse in detail, brass and all. Okay, so that's called Into the Lantern? Yes, Into the Lantern. All right, so I'm getting to know that this museum is massive and Stan just told me something that kind of blew my mind. How many volunteers are in this museum? A little over 270. So how many come in at a time? Oh, I have no idea. I'm here at this desk, but there's, you know, it's a 20 acre campus. So there's a lot of area to cover, a lot of things are done. So the people is what causes you to volunteer? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, they're nice people here. Even when people stick cameras in your faces? Even, <laughs> yes, even that. Thank you so much. Wait a second, I saw this place. We have to go here first. Tugboat Pilot House Replica. So replica means it's not the real thing, it's like a copy, but look at this thing. And Stan said you could honk the horn somehow. Oh, maybe this is it. I think I heard something. They're saying things on this radio. We would call that a life preserver. Luckily, my camera doesn't have a flash. Flash photography means when you take a picture, a light goes on, a really bright light, so flash photography is not allowed here. So this is into the lantern. 
This is what Stan was talking about. So it's gotten a little darker in here, but that is a lens for a lighthouse. I did do an English lesson at a lighthouse. I'll leave a link for that in the description, but you can have lenses in a lot of places. Your glasses probably have lenses, cameras have lenses, and so do lighthouses. If you like photography, they have a lot of photos here. This big one. Look at that old timey camera. Definitely has a lens. Look at this, a sailor's treasure. Looks like there are some treasure chests right there. I'm not an expert in boats or ships, but this looks like a canoe to me. Oh, it looks like a cruise is about to leave. I didn't buy a cruise, but you can. When I say cruise, I mean taking a trip on a boat and it looks like that boat is docked right there and probably will be leaving on a cruise very shortly. I think the cruises here last about an hour or two. Right over there behind me is something called Bath Ironworks and they do make ships for the US Navy. One day I should do an English lesson from a cruise. Yeah, just let me know in the comments if you would like me to do an English lesson on a cruise. And please don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. If you saw my last English lesson on a road trip, I talked about current. And again, with this river here, the Kennebec River, the current is too strong, you shouldn't swim. You might get swept away. I'll leave a link to that lesson at the end of this video. I say we head back to the car. There's an English phrasal verb for you. I say, let's head back to the car and do what the next thing ChatGBT told me to do. Oh wait, before we go, look at this huge anchor. It's what we call that in English, an anchor. I'm not an expert, but I think it holds a boat in place so it doesn't drift away. Another English phrasal verb for you. Getting swept away because of a river current happens more quickly than drifting away. Drifting happens more slowly. Ah, look, another anchor. This one isn't quite as big. All right, we made it. The next thing on the list was to visit historic downtown Bath. We're here. I thought parking was going to be a little bit of an issue. That's another way to say I thought it would be hard. I thought parking would be a bit of an issue, but I found a supermarket here that said you could park, but you had to get out within two hours. So there is a two hour limit here. I don't think we'll be here for two hours, but it does look like there are quite a few places to visit here. I'm starting all the way down at the end of the street and it looks like there is a library there. It's called Patent Free Library. And then right across the street, something called the Library Bookstore. So it looks like this is a place you can buy books. That other place looks like you can borrow them and then maybe you have to bring them back and like Two weeks or something like that. Nice book rack there. This is a place called Soggy Dog Designs. Oh, looks like you can buy maybe things for your dogs. Oh, and in here is a consignment shop. 
All right, let's talk about what a consignment shop is. A consignment shop is a place where you can bring your old clothes, if you're done with them, you can bring them to a consignment shop and they might buy those clothes off you and then they sell them for a better price. Of course, the clothes have to be in good condition, but sometimes it's a good way to afford new clothes, I guess. What's the Loyal Biscuit Company? This looks like another dog store. Yeah, well, it says friendly dogs are welcome. You gotta have your dog on a leash. Loyal Biscuit Company. And uh, I just spoke with Abigail and she said we could come in, have a look. So let me know in the comments, are you a dog person? Are you a cat person? That's another way to say you really like dogs or you really like cats. Or you could be a pet person. Maybe you like both dogs, cats, and maybe even goldfish and gerbils. But it looks like this store has everything you could possibly need if you have a pet. Look at that good old dog bone. Dogs would probably love to chew on that for hours. Oh, it looks like they might have a little discount rack here. You can get 50% off these items. Wait, what is this? Is that a cookie for a dog? I think it is. Oh yeah, and what dogs don't like to chase those balls? Look at cow. What is that, a bear maybe? Probably a bear. Ooh, a bee. Wait a second, is that a bottle of wine? We would probably call these things squeaky toys. Because that toy squeaks. It makes a noise. Over in this corner, it looks like they have dog beds. These beds look more comfortable than my own bed at home. I talked about leashes in the last road trip episode. Oh, there are some more leashes. Oh, look at this. Well, that's the American flag, the flag of the United States, but that is the flag of Maine. When you see that, can I turn it? That's the state of Maine. It's not our official flag. Our official flag is blue and kind of boring, but I think most people in my state like that other one better. I've talked about my state, Maine, being known for lobster, and it looks like they even have dog toys in the shape of lobsters. They do have baskets here for your shopping convenience. If something is a convenience, it just makes it easier for you. Instead of having to lug around all of your purchases, you can put them in a basket. Do you know that verb, lug? Usually means carrying something that's hard to carry. And Abigail said she wouldn't mind talking to us, so I'm going to come over here and ask her a couple questions. <laughs> Abigail, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. So what made you wanna work at a place that sells dog toys, dog food. Are you a dog person or are you a cat person? I am more of a cat person and we do have cat stuff over here on the right side of the store. It's a little hidden, but it is there. Um, so I am more of a cat person and I wanted to work here because I've always really loved animals. I've always loved dogs and cats. Um, and yeah, and it's a really fun place to work. You get to see a lot of dogs and sometimes people bring in their cats. I was just going to ask that. Do you get a lot of dogs and cats that come through here? We do get a lot of dogs. We don't get um, cats as much, but we do see it from time to time. How many cats do you own? I have one cat for myself, but I also have roommates who have two cats. So, and I mostly take care of all of them, so. Oh, very nice. So a total of three uh, where you live? Total of three where I live, yes. That's awesome. I'm allergic to cats. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a tough time there, but uh, cool animals. I'm more of a dog person, probably. Yeah, 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 dogs are great. Yeah. So do you think more cat people come into the store or more dog people? I would say probably a little bit more dog people. We do have a lot of cat people, but yeah, it's very, yeah, a lot of people, especially when they first visit, think it's just a dog store because gotcha. they only see this side. Um, and then I'm like, oh, we do have cat stuff. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go look at that cat stuff awesome. right now. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, so let's take a look at the cat stuff. Okay, first of all, we have cat food over here. And I'm sure, oh, we might have something called catnip. In English, we call it cat, what? 
little leashes for cats. No, 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 no. Okay, those are collars. Hang on. Collars go around the neck of a pet. So those are collars. They are not leashes. What is this? Oh, flea and tick. I do need to do an English lesson on fleas and ticks. Natalia from Chile asked about that. We'll do a little lesson on fleas and ticks sometime soon. But back to catnip. Jeez, I can't tell. But uh, it's probably... No, is that... No, those are cat treats. So you have cat food. That's what a cat would eat for its meal. But then you have a treat. You might just give it to the cat because they were nice or you, you just want to make them happy. A treat happens in between meals and it's usually a lot smaller. But anyways, I can't find the catnip, I'm sure. Cat, what? Hey, that's French, isn't it? Looks like some more cat food. But anyways, catnip in English is what some cat owners will give their cats and it kind of makes them crazy. It makes them jump all over the place. This looks like some premium dog food right there. Probably kind of expensive. Maybe you want to spoil your dog with that dog food. It's probably really good for them. Hmm, salmon and sweet potato. How's that sound for a flavor of dog food? So far, it seems like Bath really loves bookstores because we got another one right there. What's this one called? Just, just books. I mean, what, what more do you need for a bookstore than just to say, hey, books are here. Oh, what is this? Lisa Marie's, Lisa Marie, oh, there's the, look at that. That is the, the cool flag of Maine. Look at that, you could get a handbag. Or what is that? I don't know what that is. Just a decoration, maybe? I was going to ask them inside if I could record in there, but one of the first signs I saw was something that said, no pictures. So I don't think they would let me film in there. What is this little place? Wherever it is, you can't skateboard. But maybe just a nice little, little park. Come here. Once you're done shopping or just for a little rest, you maybe can sit on one of these stone benches. There we go. That is the real state of Maine flag. I'll put up a picture of what our real flag looks like and maybe you will think the same thing I do. It's, it's kind of boring. There are so many state flags that look like ours. I'd like us to adopt that other flag just to make us a little different. It is a little afternoon. It's 12.35 p.m. and I am getting a little hungry. Maybe we should look for a place to eat. Oh, it looks like this place is called Barano's and it looks like they have cold beer, crispy wings, cool cocktails, pizza, pizza, pizza. I would like to go in there, but it's probably more of a sit-down restaurant and it will probably take a little too much time. I would like something a little a little quicker, but that's the menu. A lot of American restaurants will post their menu on the outside so you can take a look before you get in there just in case you don't see anything you would want to eat. Oh, look at this. This is a doctor of optometry. You might be wondering, wait, what? Optometry? That means that doctor works with people's eyes. This restaurant here, J.R. Maxwell and Company. They have something called an open-faced turkey sandwich. Mashed potatoes and gravy, cranberry sauce. It's the special of the day. $16.95. When you see a special, that means that price is a little cheaper than it normally is. And an open-faced sandwich is like a sandwich, right? With two pieces of bread and something good in the middle. But open face means there is no top. There's no bread on top. It's probably a pretty large sandwich. But again, it's a, a sit down restaurant, so probably take a little too much time. But look at that, if you want a sweatshirt. If you visit Maine, you might need to get a sweatshirt. Because even in the summer, 
The nights are kind of cool here. A little chilly. No way. Guess what? Another bookstore. What is that? Three bookstores? Four bookstores? This place is called Over the Moon. I'm not sure if I can show this, but we might call those, uh, I don't know, ladies undergarments or something. Definitely a store we will not be visiting. Oh yeah, they got the AC running. It's a hot one today. Look at that. Little Mainer. Just for the, uh, the little kids, the babies who like the state of Maine. Remember, we saw Adirondack chairs at the museum. You can buy them here if you would like. $24.99. Basically, $25. I'm gonna sit down here, take a little break, and see what ChatGBT says to do next. I think we are going to head to the town of Brunswick next. I think they listed a very expensive restaurant for me to eat at, so I will probably skip that. I'm on a bit of a budget. I don't wanna to spend too much money. All right, it says, take a look at the scenic views of the Kennebec River. All right, I guess we won't head to Brunswick next. Let's go find the Kennebec River for some scenic views. If you remember, the Maine Maritime Museum was on the Kennebec River and it was pretty scenic, but I wonder if we can find a more scenic spot, like one that's even prettier, one that's more beautiful. My car is right down there, so let's use the crosswalk to get across the street. Look at that. Nobody's going to hit us. Wait a second. As I was heading back to my car, it's a very native English phrasal verb right there. I was heading back to my car. I noticed a couple Adirondack chairs and a body of water. I think that's the Kennebec right over there. And that looks like a really scenic spot. Oh yeah, I think we found it. Let's use the crosswalk again. No cars are coming. We aren't going to get hit this time either, which makes me happy. Look at this, oh yeah. This looks scenic. How do we get over there? Ooh, looks like a little path right down here. Oh yeah, this is scenic. We have some boats over here. It's a lot cooler down here. Downtown Bath, it was a little warm, but there's a nice breeze here, I think because of the river. I'm not sure. Does it get more scenic than this? I say we end it right here. I don't think we are going to get to Brunswick today. We'll save that one for another day. But if you're looking for another English lesson when I do a road trip, right up there is another one. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.